Hey guys and welcome to today's episode. This is David with the Geeks and Jocks and today we're going to talk about ghost rares and the ghost rarity. How many they are, when they started and uh, why are they actually so rare. And we're going to look, uh, we're going to talk all about that in this video. And just as a reminder, we want to get to a thousand subscribers. Just uh, if you can uh, comment, like, share this video. Also, if you want to subscribe yourself, if you haven't done so, that will be amazing and highly appreciated. So let's dive right into it. What is a ghost rare? A ghost rare is kind of like it's another rarity of a card. It's a variant of uh, rarity that the card can be print on. They are currently. 34 ghost rares and six gold ghost rares making it a total of 40 before the uh wing regnant of raw ghost rare was printed in this last set the ghost rarity uh, came over from the ocg to the tcg on tactical evolution and the first card to be ghost rare was rainbow dragon from Ta tactical evolution this also is the most expensive ghost rare card yeah being uh this is one of the most expensive uh, ghost rare cards uh because it's uh one of the first ones uh, because it was the first one to be a ghost rare in the tcg this card is sitting at a near mint first edition it's around 400 dollars so 450 if you can get your hands on a near uh near mint the the Ghost Rares started to appear on Tactical Evolu Evolution and came out in every set until Breakers of Shadow where they were no longer in uh, in the sets and they just made their, uh, their appearance back in Legendary Duelist Rage of Ra where the Winged Dragon of Ra came out in a Ghost Rare uh, Rarity. At its lowest point, you can find the Winged Dragon of Ra for 200 and uh, 250. However, at pre-release price or before release of the set was, they were sitting around $800 to $1,000. I'm sorry to all of you that bought at that point. I think that it's gonna go all the way down to $200 when they can't sell them anymore because it was a big letdown. And I think that in a couple of years, when this set is no longer printed or is no longer available and sealed, you can it, it's gonna it's gonna go up in price. But I don't think it's gonna go all the way up like people wanted it to. Uh, they they were I guess they were too excited because of the ghost rarity being back. Uh, obviously, they're all first uh, first edition. Um, unless they do a reprint with them, they might do a reprint, but we don't know. And uh, but the, the fact that matter that it was in every case, sometimes twice in every case, really drove the price way down because you know the price of the case would have been the top uh price for the Wing Dragon of Rock because if you can't pay more than what a case is worth. Because you know, just buy, go ahead and buy the case, and then you know that's that's what you're gonna be getting anyways. And like I said, the fact that sometimes it came out twice in a case really drove the price down for this card. My recommendation is like always recommend to you guys is that uh, don't buy stuff that you don't want to keep because uh, you know you end up paying. Six hundred dollars, five hundred dollars for a card, and then it, it plummets all the way down to two fifty or two hundred, and then you're stuck with a card that you know you didn't want it even on the beginning. Well, that's not going to be uh, something good. But if you want this card and you bought it at a high price, just keep it. It might go up, and you know even out at the end. But like I said, um, this is just a proof that sometimes. Um, this is a proof that sometimes the novelty sales and kind of like the 10,000 dra uh, 10,000 dragon um everybody thought that this card was going to be like that they yeah they are very limited uh, amount of ghost rares out there uh but this was not the case for this card also i need to mention that there's also a uh 
uh, the envelope from 2017 has ghost rarities and those are and that is uh, the dark magician girl in the 2017 envelope that was in a ghost rare of course you don't want to count this one because in, you know it's not uh, tcg playable um, however that's another rare that it was available under tcg because of these 2017 envelopes from the uh, championship celebration basically so that's it for today's video let me know what you guys think uh this video was uh, a bit trying to explain why the uh, winged dragon of Ra had a very high price at the at the beginning and why it dropped you know because it was very available it dropped basically and um also that there are not that many ghost rares this is a, it's a rarity i like a lot let me know what you guys what you guys think i think we're gonna keep on getting ghost rares in uh, future sets maybe not in regular sets but in future um side sets or complementary sets like uh the legendary duelist uh where and uh apparently it's very popular and uh, even though they the uh the price plummet you can still get a good deal on these cards and i think that the price are gonna go up eventually this uh video was brought to you by game me and by dex uh links are in the description of this video and just a reminder, we want to get to a thousand subscribers. So if you want to comment, like, share this video or subscribe yourself, that would be amazing. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.